All right, all right, all right. Let's get this uh, next question answered. So uh, in this question, um, let me see. We got Steph. All right, Steph is asking, how can I bring my pets to Mexico with me? Now, you know, there's many ways you can bring your pets, and everyone has all kinds of pets. Because trust me, I've, I've gotten this question asked plenty of times uh, with all kinds of people, with all kinds of pets. But, uh, you know, the thing is that it's just going to differ um, depending on the country you're coming from, depending on the pet, depending on the border, depending on the whatchamacallit, like uh, like how you get here, you know, whether you fly or whether you drive or what have you. And so that's the thing, you know, um, how can you bring them? So we're going to discuss that now. But the main question, okay, let's just answer this one too because I, I should have, I, you know what, I should have put that in the, in the title. Maybe I'll change it later. Um, but the main question that actually I get first is, can I bring my pet to Mexico? That's number one. A lot of times people just don't know. And and look, outside of like maybe a dog or a cat or certain animals like that, sometimes, you know, I got people that have a snake or they got like a parrot or they have, you know, just all kinds of animals, man. And so like some animals, you know, they're just, it's not the same. And some animals, um, they're, they do have restrictions and they do have, you know, certain things. So that's what we're going to discuss here. Um, but let's just stick to kind of like uh, dogs, cats. You know, I feel like those two are like uh, the main ones um, and then we'll go from there. But, you know, a lot of people, you know, especially what they have when they have bigger dogs or animals like me. You know, I got Gizmo. He's a bigger dog. I don't know. I wouldn't feel comfortable putting him in a crate, in a cage. Um, I, I, well, I don't mind putting him in, a, in, in that. But that's not that. It's more like uh, putting him in there and then putting him in the plane or putting him uh, on the bottom of a, of a ship you know, like a boat or putting him somewhere like that. And then he's going to be there. You know what I mean? Like, you know, moving around. Um, he might be, you know, sad, you know, confused. Uh, you know, um, they might not. I don't know. I, I just don't trust, um, how, how, you know, how they handle baggage. I mean, let alone how they're going to handle, you know, your animal. So, uh, and again, you know, I could be wrong. You know, they're probably great at that. But, you know, I don't, I don't think so. And so that's the thing. To me, you know, a lot of times, you know, if you got a small pet, a small animal that you can take with you on the plane as a carry-on or maybe even get a ticket for them or something, that's great. You know what I mean? That's that's awesome. You know, that's a great way to, you know, take your animal. You know, you can bring them with you. No problem. Um, but a lot of, a lot, and, and, and a lot of people have no problem with putting them in a crate and putting them on the, on the plane um, for a short trip um, or, or in a boat. You know, I, I get it. I understand that. You know what I mean? There's nothing wrong with that either. You know, certain animals can handle it. Others can't. Um, you know, some people might not want to do that with their pet. Some people don't mind doing that with their pet. I get it. I, I, I'm not, I'm not here to judge. I'm just giving you guys the, you know, the reality out there. You know, so hey, shout out to everyone watching, you know, the live stream. And shout out to everyone watching uh, uh, this later on. Shout out to Emily in the chat. Um, and shout out to, again, Steph for ans asking this question, okay, about pets. You know, if uh, how can she bring them and if she can bring them and all that stuff, okay? And as we've discussed in, in other episodes, okay, in, in the live stream prior and the live stream, you know, uh, you know, in all the live streams, if you want to ask your own question and get your own answer, Okay, you already know what to do. All the links are down below. I would love to hear from you. Okay, so back to what we were saying. Um, you know, a, a lot of people, you know, they don't really have to worry too much about this because they can just, you know, bring it on the plane with them or bring it with them and it's all good. It's all gravy, baby. All right. But for a lot of people out there, you know, um, this is a problem. And, um, you know, like, for example, not too long ago, I interviewed Dave and Rebecca Rogers, okay? And they drove all the way from Vermont. They drove, okay, from Vermont to Merida. And the main reason, you know, the main reason that they really did that was because of their pets, you know, their, their animals. And so they, they, they themselves, you know what I mean? They had animals that were already, you know, a bit older or whatever. You know what I mean? They, they felt like me where they just didn't want to travel with them on a plane. So that and other factors, you know, got them to make the decision that, hey, we're just going to drive to Merida. And by the way, if again, if you're interested in that video, in that uh, interview, just go to my, you know, page, 
And again, you know, you can come right here and you can see it. They're right there. You know, that's them. Okay, I interviewed them right there. Okay. And uh, but anyways, you can watch that video on my website. You can watch it on my YouTube page. It's all there. And you and they will tell you more in detail. Okay, about their drive and uh, you know how you know well, they did it with the animals. Okay, because again, that's another question. That's another thing that a lot of people have in mind. You know, like okay, yeah, I'll drive with my animals, but how are things going to be at the border? How are things going to be when we're driving down? You know, how are things going to be when I get to said location with my animals? Are my animals going to be okay? you know, um, and, and safe and so on and so forth. So, you know, these are all very real questions, you know. Um, if you want to know more about the traveling through, again, just check out that video. Check them out, okay. You can even contact them. There's a contact for them there, okay. So you can ask them more questions uh, about that and, 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 all, and so on and so forth. But the reality is, is that, you know, a lot of people, they base their decision on how they're going to move to Mexico based on their pets. And so, you know, this is why this is an important question, because a lot of people want to know, you know, what is the best option for them? Um, and then once, you know, they decide on that option, then that's how they're going to move out here. So, for example, when it comes to like like I was saying earlier, if you have, you know, smaller pets if you, that you can take on, take with you on a plane, take with you, you know, very easily, um, you know, this is a, you know, an easier problem to solve. This really starts getting more complicated the bigger the dog. You know, maybe the dog has health issues or the pet, you know, maybe the pet is a bit more exotic, all right, um, and, and so on and so forth. And so there's many issues out there, you know, um, that arise, you know, when, when you simply ask this question. And so that's why a lot of people, they, they decide that at the end of the day, the best solution all around is to just drive to Mexico, drive into Mexico, drive to their destination, to their location. And, uh, you know, there are various ways in which, you know, you can drive, you know, out here, you can take that route, the land route, you know, because of your animals, um, you know, you can hire somebody that will be able to escort you, will be able to take you, will be able to drive you, okay, to your location, they'll pick you up at the Mexican border, and uh, they'll take you, they'll drive you, you know what I mean, you, your pets, all your stuff, whatever you're bringing with you, to your location in Mexico, or you can do like Dave and Rebecca and so many others have done already where they just drive themselves, drive their pets. And so, you know, this is the best option. And so a lot of people are always, you know, wondering, you know, again, the questions that Dave and Rebecca will answer in detail, you know, as to like, well, how are they going to be treated at the border? You know, the paperwork, you know, what do I need? Um, so, again, it's it's. All this stuff, you know what I mean, that you need all the paperwork, you know, it's all on online, it's all on the websites, you know what I mean? I'm going to see if I can provide some links down below, but the reality is that they're not really checking for paperwork, they're not really checking for anything like that. It only really starts, you know, getting into that when you have more of an exotic pet. Why? Because they don't know what you're up to. You know, you might be smuggling, uh, you know, an endangered animal. They don't know. They don't know what they're dealing with. They don't know what you have. They don't know what that is. So that's why, you know, um, the more exotic your pet is, the more difficult it might be. But it's still doable. It's very doable. Like, again, it's, it's, it's only very rare cases that your animal has to be a very exotic and rare pet for them to maybe not allow that pet at the you know to cross into mexico which it has happened with uh certain people with birds believe it or not okay um so this is a situation but i think most people you know 99 percent of you are going to have a regular pet non-exotic even if you have a ferret even if you have uh, a bunny a rabbit um if you have a hedgehog you know a hamster you know these are all regular pets believe it or not they might not be um a normal pet you know, by the standards of uh, Mexico, you know what I mean? But again, if you provide the proper paperwork and documentation, it's a pet and that's it. You know what I mean? So you don't, you know, you really don't got to worry about it. But again, like the, you know, the more, you know, uh, difficult it gets to um, identify the pet, the more difficult it might be to, to cross over. And in that case, it might be easier to just fly. But again, long story short, you know, most people, they opt to drive to Mexico, okay? Whether they have somebody drive them or they drive themselves because that is the best, easiest, most convenient way for them to travel with their pets, okay? Because we all got pets. We all know how it is. Look, 
I am, you know, don't, I don't make no bones about it. You know what I mean? I, 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 I run this house very militaristic, you know, when it comes to the dogs, the dog. Right, I say dogs because I got my neighbor's dog out there with Gizmo and they're, you know, they're having a little play date. Um, so they're, you know, babysitting. <laughs> That's why it took me a few minutes, you know, later to, to get this uh, live stream started because I had to check on them out there. Um, but yeah, long story short, you know what I mean? Like, um, I'm, but it's still my baby. It's still my dog. You know what I mean? And I still treat them, you know, like a, said, a certain way. You know what I mean? And uh, with that being said, you know what I mean? Like, it's, it's, it's you know, I, if I were to have to do this drive, let's say I'm in the U.S. or Canada and I have to come to Mexico and I'm bringing Gizmo with me then yes, 100%. I would drive, you know what I mean? I would just drive because it would be the best way, you know, that I can, you know, I can have him with me and uh, make sure nothing happens, you know what I mean? Because I know my pet, you know your pet. Some pets, they can fly, you know, they can travel, you know, just, you know, give them a little injection, a little pill, a little whatever. They go to sleep, knocked out, you know, wake up in the new location. They're good to go. They didn't even know what happened. Um, but other dogs... Not so much. And especially the bigger the dog, I feel it's it's just more difficult. And so Gizmo has a lot of energy, you know, and um, it's 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 bad enough just keeping him in the car still, you know, let alone uh, I can't imagine having to fly with him or do something else. So, you know, that's the thing. You know what I mean? The reality is, is that, you know, um, in or, and, you know, for some people, you know, in order for them to, uh, you know, bring their pets, you know, the best solution is to drive out here with them. Because that way, you know, they can stop anytime that they want so that they can walk, they can, you know, use the bathroom, um, you know, you can pick the hotel and, and be with your pet the whole time. You know, the pet is traveling with you, you know, and, and he's uh, he's part of the traveling experience as well. And, uh, you know, he's having, you know what I'm saying, he's, um, he's comfortable as opposed to, you know, not being comfortable, you know, um, in a plane or, you know in a ship or wherever you know there's many ways to get to mexico and there's many people coming to mexico from many parts of the world so i can't you know uh you know i, I gotta you know there are many ways to get here you know boat plane car whatever okay i can't rule anyone out okay that's what i was trying to say there um but yeah you know long story short you know what i mean like just getting back to that you know you can bring your pet it's not really a problem um you do need some paperwork it's not much you know what I mean? The paperwork you do need, you know what I mean? Again, you can find out from the interview that I did, you know, here here on, the, on my website, you can find it there. You know, I, the interview I did with Dave and Rebecca. Um, and, and again, you can find this online. It's very easy to find. It's not that hard. Um, but and again, from their experiences, from many people experience the same thing, they don't look at no paperwork. They very rarely even care outside of, you know, the more exotic, you, you know, if you just got two regular dogs, then I'm going to care. You know what I mean? You know, if you got, you know, two exotic birds, they're going to care. You know what I mean? If you got an exotic snake, a bunny, you know, uh, a parrot, uh, they're probably going to care. And, and again, care meaning they're, they're, you know, they're going to want to look at the paperwork. They're going to be a little bit more, you know, invasive, you know, and, and just, you know, make sure you, you know, you got the right thing. And again, I could be wrong on this. Probably not. But that's just that, you know what I mean? Because, you know, there's all kinds of, uh, you know, um... What is it? Questions around this topic. But I think I answered it. I think we've uh, covered it enough. I think, uh, you know, I don't know what else there is to talk about about this subject. But yes, long story short, you can bring your animal and um, it's very easy and they have, you know, many options. It just all depends on you. And most people end up opting to drive to Mexico because, again, that is just the most comfortable, best option for their pet. So, all right, shout out to everyone in the chat. Shout out to Lunar Eclipse, Emily, and everyone else watching. Um, I'm going to end this live stream, and we'll be back in around five minutes with the next live stream, okay? Which the next question is going to be, um, what's the next question? What's the next question? Oh, yeah, why is there so much drama? Why is there so much fake news about living in Mexico out there? That's going to be a good one. All right. So I'll see you guys in a few minutes. All right. So we can answer that question. And shout out to Steph. Okay. Shout out to Steph for the donation. Shout out to Steph for the question. Shout out to Steph. And shout out to everyone else that has been asking me questions. And uh, appreciate
providing the donations and uh, doing all the cool stuff that we're doing here now. And by the way, I already got questions for next week, if you can believe that. All right. So, uh, yeah, you know, if you want to ask your own question, OK, um, and you want, you know, for me to make a video for you and everyone else here, um, follow all the instructions down below. You can go to my website where you can follow more detailed instructions there. OK, here. OK, we got it all. And uh, it'll tell you exactly how you can ask a question and get your video up here. Um, but yeah, I already got, you know, a bunch of videos for next week. So, you know, get yours in, you know, get your question in um, before I get uh, all the bookings in for next week. In fact, I don't even know how we're going to do this because I just, you know, who knows how many I'm going to get here and there. So, all right, guys, enough. I'm going to take a little two minute break. I got to go check on the dogs and I'll see you guys on the next question. All right. See you guys in a few minutes.